Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you how I make my pork chops in my Instapot. So let's get started. Today I'm going to make my pork chops in my Instapot. So on the top of my stove I have my frying pan. I'll place a little bit of olive oil inside. I'll put my burner on medium. I have a little bit of flour, salt and pepper. Mix it around. I'll take my pork chop, place it in the flour, make sure it's all coated. And then I'll place it in my frying pan. You want to brown your pork chops on both sides. I used about a fourth of a cup of flour and then some salt and pepper. So that was enough for four pork chops. So now I'll brown the pork chops on both sides. While my pork chops are browning, I'll take this one can of cream of mushroom soup. It is a 26 ounce can. I'll place that in my pot along with two cups of chicken broth. So now I'll open my can. Now I'll pour the chicken broth right into the cream of mushroom soup. I'll heat this up. I'll stir it around. Now I'll turn my pork chop over. To the cream of mushroom soup and chicken broth, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of gray poupon mustard. There's one and two. Now I'll stir the mustard in with the cream of mushroom soup and the chicken broth. Pork chops are browning up, and I'll be using the Instapot that the Brothers of St. Louis sent me. I love using this. So I'll be placing my pork chops in this Instapot. I enjoy cooking in it. I have four ounces of canned mushrooms. They're pieces and stems. I'll add that into my cream of mushroom soup and chicken broth. Stir it around. Thank you. 
I'll check on my pork chops. I'll salt and pepper each side. Now I'll turn them over. Do the other side. Some salt. Pepper. Put the lid back on. Now I'll test the broth. Smells good. Mmm. That's really good. It's going to taste good on the pork chops. So now I'll check my pork chops again. I'll take the lid off. That looks good. I'll turn my burner off. I turn the broth off. So with my pork chops, I'll be making this orzo pasta. And seeing how I only have four pork chops, I'll use half of this box. So just cook it according to the directions on the package. I'll mix some of the orzo in with this broth. But right now I need two cups to put in my Instapot. So in goes the two cups. Now I'll get my pork chops. I want to make sure that my meat is kind of covered with this broth, so I might need maybe a cup more. So I have two cups of the broth in there already. I have a cup and a half that I'll place on top. That looks good. I'll add in just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Some of this broth too I'll be putting on the orzo because I'm only using half of the box. So now I'll put my lid on. So my pork chops are in this Instapot. The Instapot that the Easter Brothers of St. Louis bought me. So I have it on meat and stew. 35 minutes, the pressure's on high. Now I'll press start. And wait for it to cook. I cooked my orzo according to the directions on the package and I only used half of the package so now I'll drain it. Shake out all the excess water. Now I'll put it back in the pot. I'll pour the extra cream of mushroom soup and chicken broth with the mustard on top of the orzo. It's about a cup. I'll mix it around. I'll place my pork chop on top of this orzo when it's done. I'll salt and pepper the orzo. I'll 
I'll try a bite. Mm -mm -mm. Really good. Mmm, smells really good. Then pork chops look nice and tender. So I placed a little orzo on my plate. I'll take the pork chop. It's so tender. Place it on top. And this is how I like to make my pork chops. So now I'll try a bite. Ooh, that looks good. Take a little orzo, the pork, the perfect bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's really, really good. There's extra liquid in my Instapot if you want to pour some on top of your pork chop in orzo. This was really good. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.